Another developing story tonight. Chicago police have arrested that man they say is wanted for shooting a toddler in a road rage incident earlier this month on Lakeshore Drive. WJN's Mike Lowe is live at police headquarters with the latest on this case. Mike. Rand Micah, good evening once again to both of you. Chicago police say it was the young victim's own grandmother, along with eyewitnesses on Lakeshore Drive and ultimately a network of traffic cameras that allowed Chicago police detectives to track the shooting suspect's vehicle and ultimately arrest him on the near west side. The detectives worked extremely hard on this case. It took two weeks, but Chicago police say they finally caught the man responsible for one of the most startling crimes in the city so far this year. This is definitely a road rage incident. A toddler shot in the head by an irate driver, his anger exploding in traffic on Lakeshore Drive near downtown earlier this month. The Chicago Police Department's chief of detectives, Brendan Dinahan, identified the shooter as 25-year-old DeAndre Binion of the Morgan Park neighborhood on Chicago's south side. Binion has been charged with three counts of attempted first-degree murder and one count of aggravated battery. And we obviously know that uh, Binion had a firearm and used it to harm this, uh, harm this, this baby. The baby is 22-year-old Caden Swan. The young victim was in the car with his grandmother and her boyfriend, who also was carrying a gun but did not use it. It does not appear that anybody from that car discharged a firearm. That was back on April 6th, the same day that Vice President Kamala Harris was in the city for a vaccination event. But Chicago's attention turned to Lakeshore Drive and the spectacle of bullet holes in a white sedan and police searching the street for evidence. It was basically a road rage incident where the offender was shooting into the vehicle where the child was seated. In those frightening moments after Swan had just been shot in the head, a good Samaritan driving by rushed the boy to Northwestern Memorial Hospital, where doctors placed him in a medically induced coma and relieved pressure on his brain, saving his life. The young age of the victim motivated detectives to bring the shooter to justice. Whether you're a parent or not, everybody, it's a, a different, you have a different feel and a different sense of what you're trying to do and you're working for this, this child. And two weeks ago, young Caden Swan was brought to the hospital in critical condition. He was fighting for his life. There is some good news tonight. Authorities say his condition has been upgraded to serious, and doctors believe he is making a remarkable recovery. Reporting live tonight outside of Chicago Police Headquarters on the south side, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Thank you, Mike. Chicago Police are investigating two.